for Fox 5 on time traffic. Thanks, Julie. Well, the gaming world is all abuzz about this year's release of the Nintendo 3DS portable console. But Nintendo did post a warning on its Japanese website that 3D games can ruin children's eyes. The 3D experience can also add extra eye strain, which can lead to nausea in users of all ages. Sony warned of similar issues with its PlayStation 3 in July. So, do parents and players really need to worry about this? Joining us this morning, Dr. Thomas Yao, who is an ophthalmologist in Silver Spring. Dr. Dr. Yeah, uh, welcome to the show. Happy to see you. Thank you. And Happy New Year. Um, so, 3D in general, you know, this was all the buzz uh, before. Can we just talk about it in general terms for our eyes? How do we even process this with the glasses? How, what even goes on that we are able to see 3D? It's fairly complicated, but uh, essentially each eye has a slightly different image. And on top of that, the eyes have to rotate to the same spot. And the brain has to bring these images together. So that there's a lot going on that has to bring these images to make it 3D. Right. Okay. And so now, uh, you know, I have kids. They are mm -hmm. on that Nintendo, and they will be there until you pull them off. Now they're saying that it's uh, the 3D. It's out here, I believe, in March. It's coming out in, in the States. Mm -hmm. The warning that's on this says children under six should not use this. Uh, how seriously should we take this, and, and what are they saying when they say don't let your kids use it? Yeah. I think it's a great idea that they came out with this ahead of the launch because a lot of people, a substantial part of the population, actually have troubles even at distance with a regular 3D. Mm -hmm. And if you have to think about a device where you look close up for quite a long period of time, then those troubles actually can multiply. What might the danger be for a child, a young child, first off, under six, yeah. if, you, if they do use it? Yeah. The challenge under six is that these aren't the kids that actually will tell you when they're having troubles with their eyes. So if they're really having nausea, fatigue, um, double vision, troubles with their eyes, they're probably not going to tell you, especially on top of the fact that their parents probably will take away their toy. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the real problem. When it comes to vision, the vision, of course, is developing for quite a period of time. So how um, Nintendo came up with six is really a little bit of an unscientific number. Um, a lot of us think maybe 9 or 10 is probably a better number, but I think the industry standard is about 6. Um, usually a, a company like Sony or others put in the um, terms of use that these are issues, but they usually put it in the back of the uh, document. So for a child who is, say, 10, mm -hmm. uh, would they not experience the same issues with the eyes, or is it just uh, the, the ill feeling that we're talking mm -hmm. about, not any long-term damage to the eyes when you use the 3D? Right. There's less of a likelihood of long-term damage, and I think they're better able to verbalize if they're having troubles. Okay. Um, so just in general, the device itself mm -hmm. would necessarily be dangerous as far as uh, impacting vision at a later state, or do we know that yet, how mm -hmm. it might impact your eyes when you're, say, you know, an old person mm -hmm. like myself? <laughs> We certainly hope not, but because the device hasn't been released yet, mm -hmm. that's something we'll have to find out. Okay. Um, is there a time limit, though, on uh, would you suggest that or would you tell your patients mm -hmm. a time limit in general for, say, a kid who's 12 or so? Uh, actually, the uh, warning came out also with the warning for adults, which okay. is uh, not to play more than 30 minutes. So I would, of course, go with that. But certainly it's a good idea to take breaks on a regular basis to change the focus of your eyes on a fairly regular basis. Also, well, one of the other things with this, and I guess the pain of the whole 3D uh, whole phenomenon mm -hmm. is those glasses that you have right. to wear. So Nintendo is coming out with this system that, that you won't need the glasses. Right. What, it, what is this doing? Because now our eyes are totally adjusting, I would imagine, to this technology. Is this more damaging or sort of the same? Or what's your take on that when you saw that? Well, you think, don't need the glasses. Yeah, I think this will be a huge advance when it comes to gaming because a lot of the limitations with the technology has been to where these expensive glasses. Right. So I think what they're saying is because this is going to probably be a huge, a hugely popular device, that just the number of kids who will be using this for hours on end is going to be quite large. Final word from mm -hmm. uh, your expertise on these mm -hmm. games. Is it safe to buy it? Just limit the time? What would you think on that? Well, you have to limit the time if you can actually limit the time. A lot of uh, parents I've seen and heard have a lot of difficulties keeping these kids away from the games. Mm -hmm. And you have to expect that the games will be much better and much more enticing. So I think that's something you have to decide before you buy. Right. Dr. Thomas Yao is an ophthalmologist with the practice in Silver Spring. Uh, thanks for coming on the show today. My pleasure. All right. Steve, over to you. Hi, right, Allison. Thanks very much. 820 now. iPhone and Hotmail users had some technical difficulties over the weekend. We'll talk about that coming up next.